folks, this week's vlog, we're gonna go through our new boat for this year. It's a Lund 1975 Pro V. This is our seventh Lund we've ran. And I gotta tell you, I think this might be my favorite. I'm gonna go through it spot by spot within the boat to give you an idea why I prefer this boat over maybe the other ones. They're all great boats, but I'm really falling in love with this one. This year's boat, we decided to go with a 225 Pro XS. If anybody's heard these engines start, you know what I'm talking about but they are the sexiest sounding motor when they fire up. You gotta hear this thing. It just sounds mean, but it's not. It's a four stroke, but it does fly. So something new I've never had in the boat before. We've had air ride seats, but not like these. These are new from Lund this year. The only thing I don't understand is I set this to 160 pounds and it doesn't really work for me. I think I'm off a little bit on my gas. <laughs> I've got it set at 235, 240. And I'm telling you, it's bouncy, bouncy. It is comfy. You hit a wave, you don't even, you just kind of bounce up and down. Awesome addition this year. We've got actually one for the passenger too. So those are really nice additions this year and really well done. They make a world of difference when you're bouncing on some heavy waves. So storage wise at the back end, this is a new one. This used to be pumps and everything in the back corner. So this is all storage back here. Now I've got the metal pail, the wash down hose. This boat actually comes with a wash down, plugs in the back there. If you want to clean up after some bloody fish or you want to shoot your partner because it's annoying you, but that's big storage back there. Obviously big live well here with uh, a bait well, but I don't use live bait. So that's just kind of kicking there, but Big enough live well, you could probably put a 50 inch gar in there if you want to. Uh, in here, this is one of the coolest things Lund's ever done, is this is the roof. So in a lot of boats, you'll see that have the actual full roof canopy. They're just laying out somewhere. This is actually storage underneath, and then it's just more deck space when you're storing your, your roof, and it's always tucked out of the way. And you always have it. Some boats, it's such a pain that guys will actually not even bother bringing it unless they plan to use it that day. So that that is brilliant. And I've seen that in a bunch of the boats and that's just a really cool feature that I really appreciate. So back corner here still, life jackets. I always keep jumper cables in the boat. This is all my safety gear. I'd never need jumper cables, but if, well, maybe I will someday. If somebody else needs them, I have them on board. That's all my safety gear in there. Um, on the other side over here, I won't need to open this up, but this has six life jackets inside. It's uh, in there tight, so if you open that, it's just like, poof, they all pop out. Glove box, if I had one criticism of the glove boxes, is that they are too big. Sometimes I find stuff at the end of the season that I wish I had found earlier in the season, but very handy, cup holders everywhere. One thing I noticed on this boat that I really like is when you're when it's on the trailer and I'm in the barn trying to get into it, these handles come in very handy. Otherwise, you're just grabbing the side of the boat to go, once you hoist yourself up off, off the trailer to get in, but that handle is really handy. Cockpit wise, really clean. The other boats I've had, the cockpit, the, the dash and everything was down here. Control panel was down here. I prefer it up there. You can see everything nice and easily. Um, we went with nine inch birds, uh, all connected through the Altera this year. So I got to tell you, I wasn't a big link guy until I really started to play with it. And, and what it allows me to do is I can go around and auto chart, say a hump, which is what we did 20 minutes ago. And, uh, I can find that absolute high spot on the hump. Then I can go within, you know, 60, 80 feet of it. And on the Altair, I can hit go to waypoint 57. It'll take me right to that high spot, high spot that we marked on the graph. And we can waypoint right back, get right back on top of it on that waypoint and spot lock. And we know we're on the highest point. So I can also deploy my Altera from here and stow my Altera from here, which is pretty handy. So the birds have been amazing. The auto charting is awesome. Really easy to use. And I don't, you know, I'm not sponsored by Hummerbird. I've used Hummerbirds forever, but 
I don't get anything for saying anything about hummingbirds. I just, they're so easy to use. I literally use like four buttons on the unit and that's it. So we'll deploy the Altera again, put her back down. Then we can spot lock from there. So we'll go to the front now. Also here, there's, a, there's a storage here. Storage galore. Storage here. If I can get my strong hand. Storage here, there's my Mexican hat. And uh, all rain gears in here. Just a huge area for storage. Rod storage. And your battery charger's in here, so here's your cable for your battery charger. So what have I got in here now? There's nine in here now. You could probably put 18 rods in here if uh, for a tournament or whatever you want to do. But I tend to just keep the rods that I know I'm going to use on board, and then any guide rods I leave out. I don't actually put them in the, in the rod locker for that day. Moving to the bow, there's another, uh, another live well bait well up front. Um, right here, it's actually pretty good size, and then more storage here. All my tackles in here, and then more. This is more for bait, different baits, and uh, this one here I tend to use for for guests or clients that they can throw their stuff in here, their rain gear, their lunch, their whatever they want in here. Uh, my anchors in there and a tripod, but other than that. That's it, and then uh, there's some storage up front that uh, that uh, you could put some stuff in there that you wanted to keep dry. But so performance-wise, this boat we had it out uh, last weekend. We we're in probably a foot of chop, not crazy weather, but we were doing uh, 55, 55, three somewhere in there. Uh, I imagine if you really played around with the prop and, and some different stuff might get 56 57 but plenty fast enough for this old guy um, does everything I need this boat to do perfectly like I said I think it's my favorite one we put a bunch of fish in already and I'm hoping tonight we put a few more